Okay, kit review time. Now, a little bit of a story to this. I have to be honest, I actually haven't bought this kit, which is unusual for me, because you know I buy them all. This one was sent to me with no paperwork, no nothing. So if you are the person who's behind this one, thank you very much for sending me the kit, and um, please get in contact, because as I say, I don't even know who to thank. It was just literally on my door when uh, I came back off of holiday. Anyway, what we got here is uh, exact. Now, I haven't even heard of this company before. Apparently they're in Hong Kong stroke China and all the rest of it. Um, I did a little bit of background research on them and everything else, apparently quite a relatively new company. But as I said, I haven't had a chance to speak to anybody really about it. But looking at the kit, because I have had a look in the box purely to see what the hell it was, um, and it looked very nice. So here we go with it. This company, um, this is the Tiger, which uh, is obviously a light armored utility vehicle, as you can see just down here in the old box. As you can see, um, it's a nice artwork on it. It's saying that it's gonna be 28 centimeters by 10 centimeters. It's 135th scale. We got a little bit of uh, bump about it here on the box as you make your way around it. And we've got some of the markings, uh, quite nice in the camo work and everything else. So in the box, as I say, I haven't got tons. So what we do is put to the side and then I'll run through. So what immediately struck me when I have had a look at this before, so we just put that in there, safe. A um, couple of things, obviously you get some nice photo etch in here, which we'll look at properly in a moment, and another grill, but also you get decals for the camo work, which is a little bit odd, but there we go. But anyway, the manual, as you can see, very nicely done. Uh, obviously it's on a sort of semi-gloss paper, but you've got nice things for the call outs for the actual, the paint work running all the way down here. So you've got obviously the different manufacturers, Tamiya, uh, Mr. Color, Model Air, things like that going in there. A little bit of specification obviously about the vehicle itself, the overall dimensions. You've got a paint guide just down here, which is all nice. And then we work our way through. So if we get a nice central here. So as you can see, we've got a little bit obviously about the chassis going in and everything else like that. Looks to be quite detailed the way it actually goes in. Transmission assemblies, okay, front and rears, okay, and then putting it all together. But as you can see, you've got photo etch stuff going down here in the chassis, which is very nicely detailed, as you can see. Some of the minor parts going onto there for the actual gear, again, coming right the way through, uh, transmissions being actually into it. The suspension work, as you can imagine, you've got the exhaust, the muffler, things like that going in there, right the way through. Tires going onto the hubs, and then actually onto the vehicle itself. Okay, then the engine, which is another nice touch. So we've got a fully detailed engine in here, which looks very nice. So we've got the engine, um, and obviously the drive shafts and things going on there, fuel tank going on. Okay, and then coming right the way in. As you can see, it looks like more photo etch parts as well going on here So from a look down at the top, which is a nice touch. And as you can see, you can see them here. So these are all the plates going down uh, on the vehicle. Okay, and right the way. So it's obviously gonna be armored underneath with all this plating work. So you're gonna lose a lot of that detail, but it's very nice that it's been recreated down there. Okay, and then right the way through, so we've got the internals, talking about the color callouts for the actual the floor pan itself, as in what's gonna be gray, aluminum and black, things like that, going down in there. We've got the transmission housing going in, uh, and then obviously, as you can imagine, all the seats and the bits and pieces and everything you'd expect inside. Again, all multi-part, so it's quite a nice touch. And then obviously we've got aluminium, we've got the ammo racks going down in here, fire extinguishers, uh, quite a nice touch again. The dashboard instruments, looks like separate instruments again. Photo etch for the mug guard, stuff like that, as we'd imagine. Okay, and right the way in there. And then see detailing up the engine, final parts going in there, as you can see. Okay. More photo etch to bend uh, right the way over for more stowage and things like that going in there. Again, very nice touch. Okay, and then we got down here. This is about putting on the uh, decals on the interior. Okay, and in there and everything else like that. So are they internal decals? Perhaps they go on the inside. Uh, de -de -de -de. Yeah, they are, they're internal decals. Wow, okay, never seen that before. Uh, again, again, more photo etch going on down here, which is a lovely little touch, as you can see, going all the way in. Uh, we're talking about welding seams even in here. Well, very detailed. I must admit, I haven't seen this level of detail in something like this before. So it looks like it's uh, certainly gonna be very, very good. Okay, more camera work, obviously all onto the inside uh, and everything else. And then we've got the chassis all going on up to the upper 
uh, going in. The doors, again, you've got nice stuff going down in here, some very nice details. Okay, spare wheel going on under the hood. More doors and windows and various things going in. It does seem to go on and on, all this detail, as you can see, to really bring it together. Weapons fit, hatches, things like that. Uh, all in there. I must admit, it does look absolutely lovely. Then we've got our call out, so obviously we've got them for the Russian Guard. Okay, for the rear, I don't know what the front one was. Um, that's just the three-tone camo, which I think is the same that's on there as well. Three-tone camo, all your same. So actually, look at it, that it looks pretty good. So now we know that all this stuff here is for the internals. We turn them up the right way. Um, as we can see, these very nicely done, these decals, you know, absolutely spot on. All the numbering looks very clear, very crisp, very precise without having to take it out. The carrier film looks like it's slightly off to one side, just looking at the star down here, I don't know if you guys will pick it up, but it looks like it's slightly off to one side, but it is on the carrier film, which is the main thing, all the way through. Again, this photo etch, I won't bother getting it out, but you can see now in detail what we've actually got. So down here we've got obviously this strapping thing where they're going to loop around for holding up blinds and stuff like that. The floor plans, as we can see down here, these underside protectors, grill work, um, you know, harnesses, belts, things like that. Very nicely done and it looks to be very, very thin photo etch as well. Nice touch. So we've got a little grill going on down here as well. Again, lovely little details, all these details. Right, we will start at the nice big bit in here. So where is my trusty knife? Find a way into this. Okay, so looking at this here, so we say you've got plenty of work to go on with this one to put it all together. But as you can see, looks to be pretty good. Very nice. I can't see any problems. There's no smoothing out or anything else. Uh, as you can, looking all the way over it and down to the internals. Obviously, when this framework all comes off going to be a little bit soft all this holding it together but as you can see it does look pretty good got no problems with that at all I can't see any any flaws any imperfections or anything whilst we've got them here we'll have a quick look at the tire let's just see where the seam runs on these so we do have a center seam that runs through the middle but because of the tread well, our camera gets the light on it. You can see that it working with the tread. So you've got nice details actually on the tyres themselves. Okay, we've got limited trademark type things down in there. I can't read it for my eyesight. Okay, but they do look to be nice. So it's got away with that centre seam in the middle because it works with the tread. It's not like you've got anything raised. The only thing we have got, got a bit of a mismold down in here. So I'm hoping the camera's a little bit lighter. Looking at my big camera, it looks like it's a bit dark over there. But you see, you've got a mismold in that one. I'm just gonna see if it's in all the others. They're a little bit, I don't know, just this inner edge, just a little bit soft. But I can't see, there's no problem with any of the others. See, that's a perfect one, that side. Got no trouble with that one. But the other one, this one down here, has got a chunk out of it. So you'd have to have that on the inside, because this outer one's fine. But as I say, it's an easy walk around to get around that problem. Okay, so in the screws. So, almost separate bags. I say almost, got a couple of screws in each one. Okay, so immediately when you look at this, guys, you can see you've got the floor plan. So it's not a checkerboard. You've got checkerboard up here, but then you've got, it looks like the rubber stuff down in here. Okay, but you've got a very nice level of detail within all of that. Okay, and these other parts in here, as you can see, very nice, very crisp. It's got texture on that, which is a nice touch. Okay, because obviously I presume that's soundproofing. And then the same on that sort of monocoque there. The drive shafts down here, very nicely detailed. Got cracking detail in that with all the riveting and the various parts all going on with that. No problems. All the ejector pins are almost flush. There's nothing in it with those. They, you know, they're there, but they are so close that I can't see a problem with that. See, and that's very nice detail as well for there under the actual bonnet. That's absolutely fantastic. But you have got ejector pin mark there, 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 and there, which I don't know if you'd worry too much about it, but if you are. Uh, insides of the doors, they're skinned anyway, so we won't worry about that. Outer detail. Uh, 
Yeah, that bonnet looks really, really nice. It's quite complex the way it's got this grill in it, and it's absolutely crystal with sharp as a pair. That's it, no problem at all. Doors, no problem with those, looking very, very nice. And then we've got this upper hatch uh, for that gun mount that's on the top. Again, some nice bolting detail, things like that going on there. Looks to be very nice. Okay, you've got another one here, quite a big bag with all the parts in, but you know, somebody to the other day said about, um, I didn't mention uh, that it's got different bags and that. I only mention it if they're loose and wrapping around. When they're in like this, okay, you get have 20 sprues in here. As long as they're not moving and rubbing against each other and causing damage, I don't see it as a problem. They don't have to be in separate bags every single one, but when you get a bag and it's a giant big bag like this and it's got 20 sprues in it and they're all rubbing around, pulling each other off the sprue and causing damage, then I take offense to it really. Yeah, they should be sort of separate bagged or at least tightly packed wow where'd you start okay here we go this is very very nice spruce C as we're looking at here it's absolutely loaded with details okay as you can see it's absolutely got tons of it on there I can't see any real thing of flash or anywhere I think you'd actually have a problem down here at all they all look absolutely exquisite even the smallest parts, like these little guys down here, absolutely done to perfection. Okay, and even on the back side again, lovely tiny little bits. I don't think that's even flash. It is a t that wasn't actually a piece of flash. That's actually a damaged part. So scrap that. It's where it has hit, or I've when I've just pulled it apart, come apart. But again, beautifully done. This is where I'll go a bit quiet because I don't know every single part that I'm talking about here. But you can see down here we've got these fuel tanks, very nicely done, some very nice detail. And all this sort of transmission work and things like that going down in here looks absolutely fantastic. Lovely detail. Okay. The grills and vents, uh, the floor pans, and obviously you just switch in between the detail. And even this transmission work down here is absolutely lovely done. Some nice stuff, obviously on the blind side here, we've got some ejector pin marks, but I don't think they're gonna notice those where they are. Shame that the exhaust pipe isn't a little bit deeper uh, bored out, but obviously you can do that yourself. Even the steering wheel is quite nicely detailed, I must admit, it's even got texture on it, which is a very nice touch on the back side. It's really rough, as you can see, for texture. So the chassis itself, as you can see down here, again, some nice bolting details and things like that. There's no real weld marks as you'd expect on something sort of modern, okay. And uh, looking at the doors, they're all nice as well. As you say, I can't actually see a fault with this one. It's extremely sharp, extremely well produced. And as I say, I haven't even heard of this company before, but they do look to have knocked out an absolute belter here. Again, we're looking off the transmission down here and we've got stow boxes and things like that. And we've got the actual engine block, as you can see on this corner looks to be very nicely detailed but it's just the texture of the actual plastic is very nice it's very sharp very crisp no flash no signs of any mist molds or anything at all it's very nicely produced you know you'd put this on a par with anything Tamiya could do okay so looking down here again you've got some nice nice stuff you've got some this nice texture down here absolutely beautiful another part for the engine which looks very very nice okay and we've got some of those inner door parts as you can see, the guns themselves, it looks like a 40mm grenade launcher on that one as well. Absolutely lovely. I can't see a problem with any of these parts at all. They really do look very, very nice. Okay, last couple of bags. The one, oh, it is in there. I was going to say, one thing I haven't noticed is any um, clear parts, what I have now. So we've got a mirror image uh, of both these two sprues. As you can see, this is the seat cushions. Okay, there's not as massive texture, but I suppose you wouldn't have if it was a new type thing anyway. But again, beautifully done. No flash, no nothing at all to worry about. And these one pass, a couple of little ejector pin marks on the back, but I don't think you'd notice. Again, they're very nicely done, all of that. Okay, last major sprue. Again, it's another mirror. So we've got down here, it's the actual wheel hubs themselves, as you can see, very nicely done. And then obviously some handles, things like that, some of the smaller details. But you can see these wheel hubs, lovely detail, no problem at all, no flash, no bittiness, no mismolds on any of this whatsoever. 
And I have to say, you know, recently we've been dealing with, who am I looking at over there? Things like Meng. This looks very much like their stuff, if we're honest. In fact, if somebody stuck this in front of me and said, who's this? I'd say it's Meng, um, because it's definitely on a par, if not better, than uh, Meng stuff. So if there is a Meng behind them or something else like that, it wouldn't surprise me in the least. Let me just run out, I think it's the thing. What we've got here, a little tiny set of mirrors, which is a nice touch, which we saw on a, a recent car bill when we were looking at that Ford pickup. So here we go, clear parts. I'm gonna put this in here because I'm not sure what it is. So looking at these clear parts, as you can see, no distortion or anything in, but then they are flat, so we wouldn't worry about it too much. And then we've got these guys as well. Again, no distortion, no nothing. These headlights and bulbs and everything else like that, beautifully done. And all of those, absolutely lovely. So there we go. Um, what can I say? It looks absolutely fantastic. I can't fault that at all. It looks to be exquisite. It's brilliant detail. No flashiness, no miss moulds, no nothing at all. Instructions are very clear and precise and everything else like that. Nice touch with the decals for the internal because if you are going to paint it inside, you don't have to, you know, you can just decal it uh, and away you go. So that's a nice touch. And also getting a large lump of photo etch like that as well with the other part as well is a great little thing. So, you know, for something that's only going to be, what is it? It's going to be 30 centimetres so it's going to be sort of around about where's the monocoque see that can't be right 28 centimeters that's never going to be 28 centimeters if it just so happens yeah i think there's a little bit there length 28 is 282 millimeters hmm i don't think so i think it's going to be more likely to be 18 uh so what will be there on the front from there well i'm for a spare wheel I think it's going to be more likely 150 millimeters unless they've got so I think the actual is a little bit of a, a typo down there because as I say if I do a tape measure so you guys can see so that's mine I'm going for that okay so as you can see it's what being generous I'm thinking with a spare on it as well I'm thinking maybe 160 millimeters with the spare on it but there's no way it's 282 so i think someone got the scaling down there just a little bit wrong but apart from that i will totally forgive them that because that's a lovely little model so thank you to exact if you sent it if somebody else sent it thank you as well as i said normally i buy all my own reviews so there's no point sending me any really but you guys did or somebody did and i love that kit it's absolutely lovely so there we go if you want something a little bit different something highly detailed on that have a look at uh, the exact tiger